Welcome. We're here in Park Morpet Hut, and uh, this is the second uh, rain day of my big three fastest hike. And we're here playing cards um, and stuck here with uh, nothing else to do because it's freezing <laughs> and wet outside. Um, to pizza to be in the yeah, we're, wa <laughs> <laughs> we're waiting for the pizza to come. After descending from Whitehorn Pass, I stumbled into Park Morpeth Hut, which was packed with three French hikers, Alan, Raphael, and Charlotte, and two New Zealanders, Stu and Julia. What I like most about my life in New Zealand is the environment and nature. The ability just to be able to wander off at relative safety. You just look around, it seems free, doesn't it? It speaks for itself, doesn't it? Yeah. You'd never believe how quickly six strangers become best friends when they're trapped in a 15 square meter room for 24 hours. Raphael's kicking our ass at hearts, so that's <laughs> that. So uh, hopefully in another day or two, we'll be leaving here uh, or I'll run out of food and be dead. One of those two things. That thing's the way it stopped. And um, so now we can just go for a walk and that's nice. We're about to check the river and see if it's crossable and then let's go for an adventure. So we're here looking at the river uh, in the valley next to Park, uh, Park Morfitt Hut and we're trying to figure out if it's going to be safe to walk up this river and go over Browning Pass. The issue is the rain seems to have stopped. However, as you can see, the river is going crazy and there's no way we can cross it here. I will build a bridge, or uh, maybe a wap. I don't know for the moment, but we will cross it like here, somewhere. You don't have a lot of water, so that will be all right. Yeah. It should be no problem. No problem. No, no problem at all. <laughs> right now? The suns appear, we're climbing up the there. <laughs> we're climbing up there and conquer this mountain, which is called Mont Couscous. And then we went there, we go up there, admired the view, went down, slip the head, and enjoyed the journey. During the climb up our mountain side trip, Raphael told me that he'd come to New Zealand a year and a half ago with his girlfriend to work on a farm. But when they broke up, he decided to spend his last two months hiking the island's most epic backpacking trips. He decided to invite Charlotte, his friend from university, and then they ended up meeting Alan along the way. As we climbed, Charlotte told me that she was an adventure guide who had worked as a hiking guide in the Alps and as a horse wrangler in Canada. When she told me a crazy story about how she once built a raft out of milk bottles to navigate down a river, I knew immediately that we would be good friends. I decided to come to New Zealand because uh, I wanted to discover the other part of the world because it's like 20,000 kilometers away from France. So I wanted to discover this country and just to live for some months on an island uh, very remote for the rest of the world. We made it to the top of the Sunday mountain above uh, Park Morphin Hut. They're uh, sliding down the mountain, which I'm about to do too. So we're here outside Park Morpeth Hut and the weather has lifted. Well, not really, it's super cloudy, but uh, it's not pouring rain. So we're gonna head over Browning Pass now. It'll be a good day and hopefully in a couple hours, the sun should be out and we'll all be happy. Anyone else have anything they wanna say? No, nothing, perfect, <laughs> yeah, just yeah. let's go. So we've made it to the foot of Browning Pass. This hike and uh, looks pretty steep. Thoughts? Uh, yeah, we will do it. It looks like very, very cold. It's a hard to see, but we will do it. But we will do it. Yeah, let's go. We're so amazing. 
During the difficult climb up Browning Pass, Charlotte told me about her adventure dreams. Alaska, California, Norway, it was an endless list. I told her that I'd been on a lot of trips, but felt like none had been adventurous enough. But for the first time in New Zealand, I felt like I was doing something grand. Made it to the top of Browning Pass. How do you guys feel? Oh, good. Cold yeah, windy. it's the most of the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm not aware of the cloud. That's amazing. It was the hardest thing I've done in my life. Yeah. Oh, really? And we did it together. I, it. Okay. I definitely do not feel my toes right now. So <laughs> hopefully the sun will come out soon. Nearly every adventure movie ever made has a motley crew that take on the world together. The Goonies, Charlie and Grandpa Joe, Indiana Jones, Sala and Marion, Bill and Ted, The Princess Bride crew, Doc and Marty, The Stand By Me gang, Dances with Wolves and Two Socks, The City Slickers, The Fellowship of the Ring, and of course, Atreyu and Artex in The Never Ending Story. As the four of us climbed down from those three mountain passes, I started having a feeling that I really was doing what I'd come to New Zealand to do, go on the adventure of my life and make an adventure movie with a crew of friends that I had assembled along the way. Do you need help? Yeah, I need your help here. Maybe okay. I was, I was making a movie, but now that I... Sorry. Okay, we'll start. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> I'm really happy to come to New Zealand because I discovered the new way of life and new mentality and new landscapes. I just saved Charlotte's life. I have paid her back for making me dinner. If it wasn't for me, she'd be dead right now. And I met a lot of very nice people and I met a lot of friends. You can trust us to stick to you through thick and thin to the bitter end and you can trust us to keep any secret of yours closer than you keep it yourself. But you can't trust us to let you face trouble alone and go off without a word. Where are your friends, Frodo? Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to see where I go next.